Howdy friends, Guthrie Trap here, coming to you from East Nashville, Tennessee, Guitar Town, Music City. Uh, happy to be doing these videos, man. Thanks so much uh, for every, all the positive comments and for everybody just taking the time to watch these, man. I mean, some of these are approaching 30 minutes. I keep saying I'm going to try to keep them down, but it seems like that's the magic number. Um, hard to explain some of this stuff in a short amount of time. Uh, this lesson here, and I'll get into all the details towards the end with, you know, all the uh, marketing stuff that I have to uh, throw in here to, to keep the lights on. But, um, man, I'm going to get into some stuff here. I just want to try to uh, go through some fundamentals, get, like, you know, real simple here to where we're not getting ahead of ourselves. I just want to focus on just from, like, getting from the one chord to the four chord and some really cool ways to look at it using all the things that we've been talking about, like the chord shapes uh, and the um, pentatonic and the scale and the arpeggio, which all that stuff is, it's, it's important to, to, have, to break that stuff down into those different sections to learn this stuff. But once you get that under your belt, it's all the same thing. The chord, it's, 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 you're not separating that stuff into like the triads are one thing, the chords another. It's all the same. We're looking at all this stuff as one big giant picture. Uh, right, so that's the goal. Um, I'm just going to show you an example of one of the most famous ways to get uh, from the one chord to the four chord. You guys have heard this a million times. Guess what? Here it is. Uh, you're going to know this right off the bat. just to, uh, I mean, I got to the, went to the chorus quick, just so you'd get an idea of how that whole thing fits together. That's not how the song goes, technically, but that's my girl. And you know that uh, that riff, I mean, that's just, he was goofing around in the studio and started playing that riff, and Smokey Robinson was like, that's it. That's the riff. That's the, that's the thing. And, and it ended up being, of course, a huge hit. Um, I think one of the biggest uh, back then in, in Motown history. But, um, so what we're doing here is we're just going from, we're going from, obviously we're going from G, right to the C chord, right to our four chord. And what that riff is, is straight out of the pentatonic shape. We're using this kind of uh, bar chord, one, five, one kind of bar chord here. And then we're using the, the major third. We're going one, two up the scale to the three, major third. And then we're still using our our box pattern here, our pentatonic box pattern. So right here, you couldn't be more out of the pentatonic shape. I mean, that's right out of there, just right out of those notes. So again, sorry, I missed, uh, missed fretted there or picked or whatever. So here we go. I'm just climbing right up. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, one. So that's. And then I'm going. My point of all this is I'm going, when it goes to the four chord, I'm going right to the four chord, right to cue off of that C chord, which is this next pentatonic bar chord shape right here. So my point is, is we're in the key of G. That's the blanket key we're in. Some guys have been asking, well, when you play over the four chord or the five chord or the two minor chord, are you changing keys or, or what? It's like, no, you're not changing keys. We're in the key of G. That's our universe. But, and our sonic foundation, our tonal backdrop, however you want to look at it, I like to think of it as a, as a whole like that. We're in the key of G. When we go to C, we're not changing keys, we're changing chords. So when we go to that C chord, we're now playing over that C chord. We have to outline the notes out of that chord because that's what our that's the information our ear is receiving. So we're not changing keys. We're just going to go from one to four. Exact same riff, right? Okay, that's one cool thing we can do. 
Now, another thing I'm going to show you, now this is going to jump a little bit more intermediate to, to you know, I, I wouldn't call this advanced, but, but this is jumping up a little bit. This is a real simple example, obviously. Uh, but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, now we're going to get out of the key of G. We're going to go to the key of C. Um, and I'm going I'm, I'm to show you this example out of this A-shaped C chord because it just works well in this part of the, the fingerboard. It works all over, but it really works well um, right here. So um, we're going to be in the key of C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, you've got the chord, then you've got the arpeggio, one, three, five, one. And then the next set of information, and we might have gone over this in another lesson, but it never hurts to review. I can certainly always use it. And then it goes, um, uh, so it goes, the chord is the first level of the information, foundation. And then you've got your, your uh, arpeggio, one, three, five, and then one. That's your, your octave. Right? Now the next level of connecting that information is... We're adding the pentatonic to it. So we're going to take the same core skeleton framework of that uh, 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 arpeggio, and now we're just going to add So we're just adding the two and the, and the, uh, the six. So we started with this. Now we have this. So now we have the chord, we've got the arpeggio, we've got the, uh, the uh, pentatonic, and now the next and final level of information that we have to outline that chord is the scale. So we've got... That's the major scale, right over that C chord. So... It's all where you get, we're, we're, we're not separating this information except to learn it. And then we're going to get past that once our hand and our ear knows that information. Then we're going to get past it. We're going to start working on improvising and all the other things that we want to be able to do on the guitar. That's the goal, right? So, uh, with that being said, and I'm trying to just cover this as thorough as I possibly can, so don't stop the tape or fast forward because uh, this all is leading up to something. Trust me, I know. Uh, the difference between super boring stuff and the stuff that we all are, are, are hoping to, to be able to get to, to be able to play. Trust me, I know the difference. And, uh, and, uh, but these foundations and these fundamentals are what you have to know. You have to know these chords and stuff because there's so much stuff that's based out of these shapes. It's all the same stuff. The chord, the scale, it's all, it's all what we need to be able to, uh, to be free and, and be able to improvise and express ourselves on this instrument. So enough talking. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the uh, I, I love to go up the arpeggio. Sometimes I go up the arpeggio and down with the scale because if you just play arpeggios all the time, you just sound like you're playing arpeggios all the time. But if you incorporate the scale to it, now you're starting to make music and use all these different tools that we're, that we're learning about. So this is a perfect example of how to combine all this stuff together and create melodies and stuff and break out of just being on that spinning hamster wheel of playing the major scale and not knowing how to get out of it. Okay, well now where do I stop? What do I do with that? It's an endless just cycle of, of all those notes, but I need to learn how to, how to get out of that and, and actually make music with those. So again, talking a lot, but this is gonna be, um, this is a great example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down C arpeggio, or up rather. Okay, now when we land on that C, now we're going to use the scale notes to get to my F chord. So we're going to go from the 1 to the 4. Now we're in the key of C, right? So we're going from C to F. Could be here. Wherever you want to play it. But here's what it's going to sound like. So I'm going up the arpeggio to outline that C chord because nothing uh, outlines a chord faster than an arpeggio. That sets us up like, hey man, 
I know he's playing over that chord because he just played that arpeggio. So we're gonna go up the arpeggio. Now I'm gonna play the C major scale. Walking right down to F. Now when I hit F, that's my tonic of my four chord. That's now we're we're playing over the four chord, but we're hitting we're hitting the tonic. We're going right to it, just like this. Uh, if we were to play my girl in C, right? We're going right to that root note and cueing off of that next chord. It could be we could be going from C to to uh, E flat, some weird chord. I could I would still cue off that bass. The, the, the tonic note to start my, my improv, uh, improvisation from that point. I'm trying to explain this as crystal clear as I possibly can. So going from C to F. Now watch, I'm gonna go now from F. I'm using this D shaped F chord, this shape. And then I'm using part, the way this is laid out right here, I'm using part of my uh, E-shaped F chord as well, because that's where I'm going to get my major third from. So I'm using this shape and combining it with a little bit of this shape. So bear with me here. I'm going to do it again. Now that walks me. Now I'm playing the F arpeggio right up to that to that uh, octave F note. So again, now guess what I'm going to do here? I'm going to walk. Let's just for now let's walk back to C. So if I was going to do that, I would rock, walk right back that scale, right back down that scale. me from my one chord to my four chord back to my one chord back to my one so right here right so that's using the arpeggio a little scale C major scale to get to the F and all I'm doing is taking the major scale that would be the whole major scale I'm stopping at F because that's my chord tone. That's the next chord. That's the tonic of that next chord. So from there, I start playing out of, out of F. I could slide to here. Right? There's options. We could do that. But right now, I want to keep this simple and work out of this one position. Because what you want to do ultimately is what we did on a few lessons back where we do the triads. You know, C, F, G, C, F, G, C. So the goal is to, to, to be able to play over your one, four, five, six minor, two minor, whatever, in each one of these five positions for the cage system. Then, then you start connecting them uh, horizontally. And man, this takes time. This is not something that you're going to be able to do overnight, but the more we shed light on these concepts and you see that it's, there's a lot of repeating going on, and there's a lot of um, uh, there's a lot of um, um, of the commonalities here with with these different uh, patterns from one chord to the next to the next. You know, I could do you know if uh, well now I jump to G, but from G to C to D, I could go right just one three five. It's like a bass line, but that if I played that, you would know I was playing over those chord shapes. That's another great exercise I'll show you one day. Um, but this thing is really great. You know, this, this um, uh, C to F idea right here. Now, when I go to my five chord, we're in the key. We're jumping back to the key of C now real quick to continue this, this uh, idea. So we're going to go now from C to F. Then we're going to go to G. We're going to work out of this position. We're working out of this position. This F shape, now we're gonna to go to our G shape out of this big giant G chord here. Now watch this. Okay, that, 
that's, I'm just showing you, that's the C major scale. Now watch, right here again, I'm not trying to jump around, but I just want to show you, and I'm also checking to make sure I'm not telling you the wrong thing. Uh, so right here, F, still using the C major scale, we're just coming off of this F. Now instead of, this is the note we landed on a couple of minutes ago, now I'm going to go one degree back, one fret back, that's the major third of the G chord. That's our five chord. So we're using the scale notes to end on the intended chord tones that we're going for and we're hearing with our melody. Now another thing I'm going to interject before I finish this idea is the ultimate goal is to hear what we're doing. I mean, there's a these aren't hard, fast rules. The rule is if it sounds good, it is good. If it doesn't sound good, it's not good. Certain scales don't sound great over minor chords when used in the wrong context. Certain scales don't use don't work over certain major chords when used in the wrong context. It's all about uh, what works and the song that you're playing. I suggest listening to a lot of music, uh, listen to a lot of blues, listen to a lot of great songs, good songwriting, uh, Van Morrison, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Tom Petty, Mark Knopfler, uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Those are guys that I like, but you don't have to, you know, listen to those guys. There's a lot of great records. Jackson Brown, there's a lot of great guitar playing on those records. Um, some great stuff there. Some some guitar gold, right? Uh, less licks, more parts, more melodies, more real music. So, um, again, one more time, we're going to finish this idea here, okay? Um, So, right up the G, or you, I, I would probably do this. Or something like that, somehow to get out of that G. tricky but here we go now I'm thinking G7 because we can always play the 5 7 going back to the 1 even in a major of course so now I'm going up this G7 this G7 arpeggio Starting from the third, because we ended up there on our scale. So that's three, five, flat seven in G, then to the two, A. Almost like Pretty Woman. Uh, it's the same note, so it's all the same. So uh, again. to that one. Now guess what? Right back down the scale to our one chord, our, our C chord. Now this is a this is a really cool thing if you can wrap your head around that because that is how we're going to start getting, we're going to start seeing it, we're going to start hearing it, we're going to use the scale notes and the arpeggios and the chord shapes. This is all going to start coming together. Um, this this kind of idea, not to go now. Don't you don't have to play this, but this is kind of the idea, right? Is uh, just going through those cycles of those chords. This stuff is really going to click for you guys. I'm telling you, if you just work on this a little bit, it's going to click. Uh, thanks so much for putting up. I don't know how long this video is. I'm, I got a clock down here because I'm trying to keep these videos short. But, man, it's, not, it's obviously not working because, 
once I get into talking about this stuff, I really like to make sure you have the foundation from where it's coming from. Um, please check out the links. I got to support my career. Uh, I'm actually going to add my Venmo and PayPal information. I've been getting a bunch of emails from guys asking me how they can donate. It, don't forget, folks, it feels good to give. I got to keep this channel going. I want to grow it. And uh, I know we're not hiding anything here. Let's face it that, you know, I, I want to I want to see this thing grow, man. I want to have an awesome channel. Um, and I really appreciate you guys, man. The comments are, are uplifting. It's comments like those. They're going to keep this channel going and keep it alive because uh, it's encouraging, man. I mean, it really is. And I appreciate the heartfelt back and forth. I wish I could meet all you guys in person. I got a guy coming over here in a minute that, that found me on YouTube that's taken a couple lessons yesterday and today. And uh, man, it's just been it's just been awesome. The people I get to meet and um, the adventure continues. Check out the links below. Uh, let's do a lesson. Check out Artist Works, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, hope you got something out of this. I'm jumping around like crazy because there's so much stuff I want to share. And I think that kind of keeps it random and interesting for you guys as well. Uh, thanks again. Look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Bye.